rock groups can fill a big arena like Brooklyn's Barclays Center. But this band can. They've won a Grammy and charted two number one albums. If you haven't yet made their acquaintance, this is Arcade Fire. I feel like we're just constantly introducing ourselves. Like, I feel yeah. like we've been introducing ourselves for like 15 years. I know. <laughs> like, oh, uh, we're from Montreal. We do this, we do that. I wonder at what point we don't have to be introducing ourselves it's all the okay, time. It's funny. <laughs> nice to meet you. Time magazine in Canada has called them the country's most intriguing rock band. David Bowie is a fan and has joined them on stage. They've played with Mick Jagger on Saturday Night Live. On tour, the core six members add strings, horns, and Haitian percussion, creating a sound both epic and operatic. What one critic called a cross between a Clash concert and Cirque du Soleil. For me, it's like a, I believe in the song so much. I just want to make sure that it, the spirit of the song comes out. Regine Chassang and Wynne Butler, husband and wife and the band's principal songwriters, met at McGill University in Montreal in 2001. I had nothing going on. She was, had lots of stuff going on. Know, she was playing was in a medieval case. band in shopping malls. And, uh, also sang jazz in, in a grocery store opening, which was pretty funny at 8 a.m. They moved in together in Montreal's Mile End section. The regime was living around the corner, and I saw the for rent sign and figured you could make noise because it was above a bar. Who put the name in the pavement? We both did. How long did you actually live here? Five years, six years. This we... is the same paint. Their apartment would become their performance space. Did your downstairs neighbors complain? <laughs> <laughs> and their recording studio. Piano was there for wake up, it was back there. That first album, Funeral, recorded for less than $10,000, has gone on to sell more than 700,000 copies. And how did you actually find this place? Arcade Fire started playing small venues around Montreal, like the Ukrainian Federation Hall. Wynn brought his brother Will into the group, drummer Jeremy Gara and Richard Reed Parry. You put like an ad on a telephone pole for a roommate. Yeah. It's like, I have this great place, we can make a lot of noise. It's a weird loft. And I was like, weird loft? A lot of noise? Like, do tell. I think you're the only one who answered. <laughs> when Tim Kingsbury joined the band. I wasn't really anticipating making, like doing this to this extent. You didn't think this was going to work? No. <laughs> also a surprise. The Grammy goes to the suburbs. Their Grammy in 2011 for Album of the Year. They beat out Eminem, Katy Perry, and Lady Gaga. I just want to say thank you, Messi, uh, to, to Montreal, uh, Quebec, for taking us and giving us a home, a place to be in a band. The band members, all multi-instrumentalists, are all Canadian, except Wynn and Will who grew up in Texas. Their grandmother was a member of the singing King family. September in the rain. Their grandfather was the big band leader, Albino Ray. This is my grandpa Albino shirt I'm wearing today. Is it really? Yeah. Were you influenced musically by him? Well, he, he bought me my first guitar. Regine, the daughter of Haitian immigrants, was a musical prodigy. I didn't have a lot of access to music, so when I heard something, I would just kind of listen to it like it was going to go away, because it was, and uh -huh. I was never going to hear it again. So I just learned to remember everything. Were you able to, to do that? Yes. Wow. <laughs> she can play pretty much anything she's ever heard. Really? Yeah. And she did throughout our interview. Are you just hearing music in your head all the time? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not normal, but I hear so much music in my head sometimes so clearly that it might as well be real. During the recording of their second album, Neon Bible, she remembers. I woke up with a crazy headache, 
So my head was like about to explode and I tried to remember what was I dreaming about and I realized I was playing Black Mirror backwards <gasps> wow. in my head with the melody backwards and the beat and I was trying to make it work. That is pretty scary though to wake up hearing a song backwards. Ah, oh, it took so much brain power to do this. It's like my head was heating up, you know, like the computer was like, <laughs> why am I doing this? Because I wanted to make sure that I knew it like backwards and forwards, so I had to play it backwards. The band's also been influenced by Regine's heritage. You've made Haiti a, a big part of the conversation for this band. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was already such a big, important part of our lives, and then the earthquake happened. It was 2010, and the group rushed out on tour to raise a million dollars for the relief effort. We had a Super Bowl ad because we were like, okay, what's in the inbox that we would have said no to? All right, what does it pay? Yes, tell them to double it. So you did that Super Bowl ad just to raise money for Haiti? Entirely, yeah. The seasons may change, but there's always football. After four albums and more than a decade together, Arcade Fire remains a tight family. We've never had drugs in our band. You know, there's a lot of pitfalls. Yep. We've all read the rock biographies. <laughs> <laughs> and you I, take your lessons from that? I always, to be honest, I always found it so boring. I have no interest in, in that. In fact, I find it embarrassing, you know, like. Embarrassing. I find it embarrassing. Why do you find it embarrassing? Well, it's like seeing a drunk Santa Claus or something like that. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's cool. For Arcade Fire, the music's the thing. They turn sound into spectacle. When you push something to where it's about to break, then that's how we play. For better or worse, that is kind of how we play. Yeah, yeah. and just try and transcend the yeah. confines of wherever you're at. It's always kind of fun to do that, just be like, right. something else. <laughs> <laughs>